What is going on guys? Thanks for coming back for another moto vlog. Oh, we got the Miata squad. Here we go. Stance boys. We got the slug bug squad out today too. That Jeep though, holy cow. <laughs> Dude, there are so many squads out today. I hope all you guys had a good week. I know I did. It's like, I think 70 degrees right now, super comfortable out, late October. Pretty nice weather for uh, a South Dakota day. So today's video is nonetheless a continuation of my engine series. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed last weekend's video about uh, premium fuel. I got a pretty decent response out of that video. And in that video I mentioned something called a compression ratio. And that's what today's video is going to be about. What is a compression ratio? And I guess why is it important? So first off, let's go ahead and answer the first question. What is a compression ratio? Um, and throughout this video and right now, I think I'm gonna throw up probably a diagram on the screen just so you guys can kind of visualize what I'm talking about as we explain things. And to simplify things for this video, I'm gonna be talking about engines with just one cylinder. It's a lot easier for you guys to visualize and just explain um, for one cylinder engines. So let's start off by answering the first question of what is an engine compression ratio? <laughs> that guy gave me the thumbs up. So an engine compression ratio is simply just a ratio of volumes. It's the ratio of the total volume in the cylinder when the piston is at its most bottom point versus when the piston is at its very most top point. And it looks like we got some deer up here. Yes, we do. Hey, buddies. <laughs> so in other words, it's just the ratio of the total volume in the cylinder when the uh, piston is at the lowest point in the stroke versus the, when the piston is at its highest point in the stroke, which is called um, the compression volume at the very top. And I'm probably gonna put a little picture or visual representation of that on the screen right now. So now that we have a compression ratio defined, she has blue hair, huh, okay. Um, so now that we have a compression ratio defined and kind of a visual representation of what it is, let's talk about what makes um, the difference between a low compression engine and a high compression engine. So you guys can probably figure it out on your own, but what makes a high compression engine is a larger volume on bottom. There's a lot of cows here, holy cow. What makes a high compression engine is a uh, compressing a big volume into a tiny compression volume on top. And for a lower compression ratio, you would just expand that same larger volume on bottom into a just a little bit bigger compression volume on top. So basically just think of a bigger space on top with a lower compression engine versus a um, higher compression engine would have a smaller space on top. That guy thought I was waving at him. Sure, buddy. And so one important thing to note about high compression engines is, you guys can probably guess, but high compression engines have higher pressures and temperatures inside. And as I was saying in last week's video, that's precisely the reason why you need to run a higher octane fuel or a premium fuel in high compression engines because of that high pressure and temperature um, lower octane fuels will actually ignite before the spark from that high temperature and pressure. So let's go into a little bit more detail about why compression ratios are important. Um, not only from a fuel standpoint, but efficiency and power. So first off, let's start talking about efficiency. So if you guys didn't know, higher compression ratio engines yield a higher efficiency. And let me try to explain why for you guys. So a higher compression ratio engine, like we said, has higher pressures and temperatures inside the engine. And because of that, you actually don't need as much fuel. You don't have to inject as much fuel into a high compression engine to get it to ignite 
versus a lower compression engine. And that's simply because of those higher pressures, mainly pressures and temperatures. What do we got up here? What are these guys riding? Pit bikes? that was all about and the last thing I just want to touch on is the fact that um, high compression ratio engines do produce more power versus lower compression ratio engines and that's basically due to what we've already talked about is the higher temperatures and pressures um, it, it just has a higher thermal efficiency um, versus a lower compression ratio engine but there's also one thing we uh, probably shouldn't overlook and that's the fact that in a higher compression ratio engine versus a lower compression ratio engine the piston is going higher in the cylinder and what that basically means is it has a longer expansion stroke or a longer power stroke to produce power for your engine so guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel that I missed something, um, definitely leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. That being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe below and I will see you guys next Saturday for another video.